the kind of points of order. Stop throwing jabs. Go straight to your comments. Make your comments. Let's conclude this business. Proceed, Senator Sifu. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For, for the avoidance of doubt, it gives me great pleasure to again withdraw my comments by referring to honorable senators as people. I withdraw and apologize. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, what I want to make clear is that there is no point in us having a conversation in this particular house or debate in this house if we offend people's sensibilities, even when we are within the rules, then we cannot have a debate because some people are uncomfortable when history is revisited. But let, the, uh, let, let, let history judge all of us. I have no problem with that. The point that I was making, Mr. Speaker, is that all these lamentations lack of drugs or uh, services in, in your county, when you had an opportunity to better the lot of your county, but you chose other things. Mr. Speaker, let me repeat here that you should not expect plaudits. You should not be uh, expecting that people will praise you or say you are a good man because you've done something that you are required to do anyway, something that you are paid to do anyway. It's like us or myself here expecting that the people of Nairobi will clap for me because I came to the chamber this afternoon. That is exactly what I was elected to do. We were elected here to fight for all the resources that we can get to come to our counties. And when we do the opposite, we should learn to live with the decisions that we take. Let's not run away from the decisions that we've taken, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, here in Nairobi, we have issues that need to be addressed. And I just want to touch on some of them. Just this financial year, last financial year, Nairobi County was opening its first ICU. The entire Nairobi County did not have ICU beds, Mr. Speaker. We need resources for us to expand the facilities at Mamalusi. And I have spoken to the question of timely disbursement of resources. The schedule here has two components. It has an amount and it also has, has a date. It is our expectation going forward, because this is a concern that has been expressed even by the committee itself. If you look at page six of the report, that the delays in disbursement to counties negatively impact the operations and service delivery as well as priority finding. Our governor here has set upon an ambitious plan of feeding uh, kids in school and it is costing us as a county about 800 million shillings per year. And Mr. Speaker, that is just for a fraction of the school going children because this amount that he is using for this particular program is only for the kids in public schools. A large majority, a large proportion of the students in Nairobi are not in public schools. They are in what we call semi-formal schools. And we would want an opportunity that this program expands. In fact, there's people who've gone to court to say it is discriminatory for you to have such a program to benefit only people in public schools. Yet a vast majority of the students are not in those particular uh, schools. They are in non-formal schools. Mr. Speaker, we have county playgrounds here in Nairobi. We have a lot of talent, just like I was saying earlier to you, I was at uh, uh, Moy Forces Academy this afternoon uh, for the uh, Kenya Primary uh, Sports uh, Association Games to determine the team that will represent Nairobi in the national games in Kisumu. There is a lot of uh, uh, talent in Nairobi, but we don't even have proper playing grounds. If you go to Camp Toyoyo, a, camp, uh, a pitch that was built a few years ago, it used to host all the games that uh, were being played Palem Tani. But Mr. Speaker, if you look at the playing surface right now, it is in such bad shape that we need all the resources we need, we can get for us to be able to provide proper facilities. Uh, the governor, out of the money that uh, the county is receiving this particular year, has set aside about 500 million shillings for the refurbishment of uh, City Stadium. And the shame of this country, I have seen people going around saying, we are going to bid to host African Cup of Nations, I don't know which year it is. You know for a fact you are lying to Kenyans. You don't have the facilities to do these things. If Kenyans elected truthful leaders who kept their word, we would be enjoying the sixth stadium that we were promised in 2013. But right now, we are just wallowing in this miasma, people lying to us that we're going to host continental games when every Kenyan knows it is not going to happen. Mr. Speaker, out of my experience uh, in the uh, Parliamentary Accounts Committee, Mr. Speaker. S uh, Senator Sifuna. Yes. Would you wish to be informed? By Absolutely never. Guy? Absolutely never. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the, one of the things we experienced in the Parliamentary Accounts Committee when we had a conversation... What, what is the point of order, Senator Chiranya? Mr. Speaker, 
Mr. Speaker, I'm rising under standing order 101 and 105 uh, because the senator, is it in order for Senator Sifuna?